While the Bible never promises sinless perfection this side of eternity, it does promise for the true believer a changing character by changing the inner man. Why then is there seemingly little difference between some modern day churches and a lost and dying world? Could it be due to the experiential and emotional approach of many of these churches? Could it be due to the anti-intellectualism also being noticed increasingly in many of these churches? Is it possible that many of the churches are not feeding the sheep but rather armies and the goats? Charles Hayden Spurgeon, known as the Prince of Preachers, sounded this alarm in the 19th century in a sermon preached at the Metropolitan Tabernacle in London, England, entitled Feeding Sheep or Amusing Goats. My first contention is that providing amusement for the people is nowhere spoken of in the scriptures as a function of the church. If it is a Christian work, why did not Christ speak of it? Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, Mark 16, 15. That is clear enough. So it would have been if he had added and provide amusement for those who do not relish the gospel. No such words, however, are to be found. It did not seem to occur to him. He concluded, Providing amusement is in direct antagonism to the teaching and life of Christ and all his apostles. What was the attitude of the church to the world? We are not sugar candy. Ye are the salt, Matthew 5, 13. Something the world will spit out not swallow. Short and sharp was the utterance, let the dead bury their dead. Matthew 8, 22. He was in awful earnestness. For God has not merely given us Jesus Christ, he's given us all things. And because there isn't enough joy in the house of God, we need entertainment. Because entertainment is the devil's substitute for joy.